ba da be ba da ba ho ba da be da ba da ba what is up mohos how we doing on this darn day fucking hell son let's check if things on everything's on i'm somewhere different whoa how cool is that dude dr d this guy just keeps getting honestly more crazier and more crazier than ever i i actually couldn't believe the video he put out dr d's made a return he's chosen war you know you can apologize and you know say what you want but this guy's chosen violence man he's gone right into the face of these allegations now he uploaded a two minute video um i'm not sure why when you watch it you'll laugh it's actually kind of hilarious i mean he is on a boat driving to an island i mean talking about reading the room wrong i mean jeffrey epstein's island heading to a, an island whilst being accused of being a minor is just terrible uh, i'm not sure what was going through his brain uh, i'm not sure who advised him that this would be a good idea but the jokes write themselves i mean i couldn't believe what i was watching it was like dr d whatever has happened you know you're trying to beat these allegations and you upload this corny ass cringe pile of weird dog shit now i'll be honest i'll be honest i think i i always believe that if you know innocent until proven guilty there was no evidence but the, how everyone reacted online how twitch reacted i i truly believe i was like well he's clearly guilty all the evidence as things start to line up now you'll start to see things are a little smelly now i'm not saying he didn't do it but basically he, he did do it i think but i think the actual person wasn't a minor apparently that's what he said again is he gonna sit there and say yes they were a minor is he gonna you know d double down or what's it double down is he gonna confirm our suspicions this motherfucker drives a boat i mean i'm not sure what this guy's been smoking on holiday you know he, he, he made out this sort of scene that he was you know on and there's his triceps almost exploding i, I mean the ai the the f the fucking animation is as good as you know if i fucking made it he's trimming his tash oh no he's not he's combing it i mean this is just tragic dr d we do, you know how, why has he made a two minute clip of this as well we could have done this in 45 seconds we're on one minute 50 fucking hell i haven't got all day here dr d <laughs> he pulls up on epstein's island or whatever you want to call it he's got his own statue welcome to the arena I mean, this is just tragic. VSM, what does that even mean? What does he always say? Uh, I can't remember. I'm not the biggest Dr. D fan. I did used to think he was quite funny, to be fair, but his novelty wore off on me. But I can understand why people are interested. We're just getting started. Champions Club, bitches. <clears throat> We're back. So, yeah, he, he uploaded that cringe piece of shit. And then he had... Um, basically a uh, a stream thing he uh goes through and it's nicely broken down by ghost dog here i did watch about 10 minutes of it it's just him basically saying no this didn't happen this person basically lied uh the police said that there was no evidence he did anything wrong but uh, let's get into it when he got signed to twitch he had a shitty partner manager i don't know what that means uh, a partner manager who basically advised him poorly hold a grudge against him and blew this out of proportion S so the, the manager sent them to trust and safety that he meshes the minor but then twitch admitted the reason he got unbanned is because they admitted that he did nothing wrong so when he first got banned it was because they were like these allegations came out with no with no evidence they were like right ban him whatever what have you then they did their own investigation and it turned out he did nothing wrong so then the twitch worker took a bunch of screenshots to show this basically you know oh he messaged mine here it is blah 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 he then gets banned the apparent victim did not want to escalate to twitch so the actual person he messaged didn't want to escalate to twitch i just spat everywhere what the fudge he then won the case against law enforcement agencies that you know were, were finding out more information about him and then it came out that he did nothing wrong and then he claims it was all just banter you know big little big little left he also said that the person wasn't underage and then he takes the side here uh, you know drama lunar nation is fucking tweeting shit oh do oh my god nick Merckx. what what's this guy said his best pal this retard good star is married with children pushing 40 minutes to texting a minor his words not mine so i cut ties because obviously that's an excuse now i'm a shit friend for not having his, his back bunch of brain rotten morons on this app it's a valid point you know what i mean if everyone's telling you oh this guy messaged minors you'd be like well what the fuck 
after facing serious allegations regarding a minor, Dr. Disrespect returned to his stream today to defend himself. During his stream today, he claimed he never did anything illegal, claims former Twitch employees lied about him, and claims Twitch was biased towards him. The doc is now facing mixed reactions from the internet. One question- Mixed reactions. He had like 230k. They were loving him, bro. They were absolutely loving him. Internally, that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! <laughs> you'd think you'd be slightly more calm considering what's going on and you could just be like, yeah, shit went, shit hit the fan, they blew it out of proportion and I did nothing wrong. Hence why I'm not in jail, hence why the police didn't do anything, and hence why I'm unbanned on Twitch because they found out there was nothing sexual in nature. I've not seen the messages. There was a video saying, um, why not release the messages? Dude, yes, okay. Why not release messages? Maybe he doesn't have access to them. I don't know. Maybe the messages are nothing important. Because it's personal, you know, maybe they're just a bit weird, you know what I mean? It, again, people are weird behind screens, aren't they? When they don't have to show their face to who they're talking to, etc. You know, it's like all these people speaking to girls, they would never say half the shit that they say on Snapchat or, you know, whatever people message on these days, the fruity people. One thing I'd like to just uh, point out, this clip is freaking hilarious. So he goes in on other Twitch streamers without saying people's names of horrendous acts that people have done. Now, these might be fine, this might be f just, you know, passing the book, trying to expose this Twitch bullshit that is, you know, well, Twitch, and he's like, well, I, I got done for this, well, but what about the guy fucking squirrels? What about the guy who groped his grandma and filmed it and put it on Twitch and nothing happened? What about the guy who, uh, yeah, was eating monkey brains on Twitch and nothing and got away with it? You know, he, he basically does that. He's like, yeah, I did this. But what about these fucking guys? They wanted to cut down the duck. Plain and simple. Cut him down. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers Whoa. that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. Oh, what a surprise. Example number one. A streamer that frequently used the n-word while publicly streaming which are. constitutes a violation of twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent twitch scheduled a meeting with the streamer to assert his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of twitch's policies ultimately determining it was not a breach of twitch's policies that's one thing i would like to say you know what i mean uh, you you see all these streamers these days just dropping all these you know n-bombs and they're not even you know what I mean? People have just moved on from that word in some instances. And it's like, what is the rules here? You know what I mean? Some people can say it, some people can't. Just fucking ban the word. You know what I mean? Shit like that just shouldn't be said. And, oh, uh, why can you say, you shouldn't say shit like that. It's like, yeah, I know, I shouldn't say it. Fucking well, look, look at my skin, bro. I know that. You know what I mean? But it's like, one rule for them, another for other people. It, that's exactly what is wrong. You know what I mean? These rules should be for everyone. And I'm not saying what he said is right. But also, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Well, this video is just hilarious because he's just like passing the buck and throw, you know, a bunch of other people. Wait, so that's not even the craziest one. Listen Why to this one. Why wasn't I called into a from, into a meeting? All oh, right. Why wasn't so his my point, intent taken in? Sorry to pause it again, but his point is basically like they they had a meeting, a conversation about it, and said, "What is going on here? You can't do this sort of thing." So why didn't he get it? Boo hoo you, yeah, you got the short straw. Example number two. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. <laughs> Example number three. I would love someone to break that down. Who is that mother chump? Who who there was do, talking that sort of stuff and then got a multi-million? I hope it's not XQC. It's definitely not XQC, but imagine that. Like, who who has done that? And then, you know, he, he all this stuff came out about him and no one, you, you know, no evidence, to be fair, was there. And I, I agree. I was on this. I was like, well, Twitch banned him. I'm sure if Twitch 
ban someone, they would have evidence. You know, you don't just arrest someone without proof. And then the police get involved and then the police suddenly say, oh yeah, there is no proof. And he did nothing wrong. Twitch should be punished. It's stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. If these are true, it's mental. Who are these people? It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the doc and used all of this as an opportunity to terminate my contract. He's playing the victim card. He's trying to say, well, this has happened to me. What about all these other idiots, you know, doing far worse stuff? And yes, there is always someone who's worse than you in life. But I think you should just sort of like not keep doing this sort of shit. I mean, what was the point of saying all these horrendous acts that people have done? Why did you suddenly go, oh, yeah. Well, I know I did this, but what about this guy? You know, it's like it's like Adolf Hitler going, well, yeah, the Holocaust and that. What about the Russians, though? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What about them guys? What about the actual Jews themselves? Did you consider that, huh? Did you consider that? Anyway, that is more or less all the uh, interesting clips that we have. But again, what is your opinion on it? Um, he, he blaming other people. I think Twitch are in the fall. He did a full 20 minute thing. You can see it here, like I said. In conclusion, you know, he was not found guilty of anything. Uh, the the person didn't want to report it, but Twitch pushed them to do so. Bit weird. Who the fuck's texting me? My grandma. His old Twitch partner was targeting personally and escalating the messages to Twitch. So Dot got rid of that guy. Probably wise. You know, you'd hope your people in your corner were backing you, especially when it's not true. You'd think. Says it didn't even look at the age where the message was received. Suggested it was timed with the return of big streamers from Mixer needing to come back. Shroud and Ninja. See, that's an interesting one, isn't it? All happened when these guys were like jump ship and then they wanted to come back. And, you know, Doc was at the height of his power. Was ex escalated to the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children. But they took no action because basically there was no evidence. Right. What do you guys think? What is going on? I mean, talk about innocent till proven guilty. Uh, that just doesn't exist anymore, apparently. You know, if, if this is all fake and Dr. Disrespect truly didn't do anything, then there are some serious questions that need to be asked about Twitch and about the service. If he did do it and he's getting away with it, because a lot of people seem to be supporting him back there. You know what I mean? He seems to be getting a lot of thumbs up and fist bumps from people. So what can I say? What can you do? I think, uh, yeah, the next, in a year's time, it'd be really interesting to see what happens with this. And yeah... Uh, I suppose, don't piss up people off at Twitch uh, because they will try to ruin your career. And Or Dr. D's just even more of a narcissistic twat who is playing the victim card and trying to pass the book and blame other people for his actions. What do you guys think? My opinion, there are more questions than answers now, I think, about this whole situation. How can you ban someone, then unban someone because he got away with it? Then this Twitch employee suddenly starts making noise and now Dr. Disrespect's talking about suing these media and... Tw maybe not Twitch, but this person who leaked all these photos and all this, that, and the other. You tell me, guys. I don't know. I have not a clue. But, like I said, next year, in a few months' time, when things sort of get finalised and more of the truth comes out, we'll know what the frick is going on, eh? Thank you, good night, God bless, and good luck, because you cannot do anything in life these days without getting in trouble, boy. So, let's load up on arms and find these motherfuckers. All jokes, yeah. Thank you, bye.